And welcome back. This is Kimberly Adams Mann of Shorewest Realtors and TAMTHomes.com. And we are continuing our series on interview with a home inspector today. This is part number four. And we're continuing with Marco Celeste from Curb Appeal Home Inspections. We really appreciate his willingness to come on camera and do this interview with us. If you'd like to see more about Marco and his business, you can click on the links underneath this video. Um, also, you can find the full interview on tamthomes.com under our inspections page. So I know that one of the reasons why we use you as a home inspector or one of our home inspectors is because of the type of reports that you have, because we really like the fact that you have pictures included, um, you work really well with agents as far as sending the reports over to the agent as well as the buyer, um, and that your reports are really neat, tidy, and organized. Um, do you, I'm assuming that you have to, that you have special software that helps you with that. That's correct, yes. We, um, I think most inspectors have some a software vendor uh, that they deal with. Um, my particular uh, software vendor is a, is a company called Home Hub Zone, and uh, they more or less make a, a report format for me that I can uh, get the information I need from the inspection and, and generate a report that's pretty easy for people to follow and work their way through. So, so and the being, pictures a, being an independent come. contractor, that's something that you have to pay for out of your pocket. I think it's interesting because I do think that sometimes when people are doing home inspections or going after a home inspector, we see some of our customers are like, oh, I found a home inspector that was 50 bucks cheaper than the one you recommended. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I do think that sometimes quality over quantity does, I mean, you, you do get what you pay for in home inspectors. Um, based on sometimes that pricing can be a matter of that. And, and I would, and I would totally agree with that. Um, you know, we get the pricing phone call on a regular basis. Uh, some people will call and just schedule an inspection and ask what the price is. Other people are, are certainly price shopping. Um, all, almost all the inspectors out there are independent contractors, if you will. Most of the time they're sole proprietors. It's a, it's a one man show, if you will. Um, so pricing will vary. You know, everybody's uh, operating costs are, are different, so you probably will see some variation from one inspector to another. Um, I would say there's a, probably a range that uh, most of the people who have been doing it for a while are in, uh, and if you see something extremely outside of that range, uh, there's probably some red flags. Something's extremely high or if something's extremely low, especially, um, there's probably something missing there. Either somebody who's uh, maybe new to the business or the report, as you mentioned, might not be uh, what you want it to be. Well, it's difficult to negotiate with a poor report. That's the it reality. Is. It is. And, um, you know, pictures are uh, certainly a, a significant value in a report. Um, so somebody else can see what, what came up on the inspection. Um, so, you know, the days for the most part are pretty much gone of, of reports uh, without pictures, but it's my oh, no, understanding no, that's there's, not a, true. Few, no, there's a few that's out not, there that... <laughs> there's not, that's not true. We have, there's a couple of home inspectors who yeah. we recommend, the only, recommend, only recommendations that we give to people are home inspectors who have pictures in their reports. Yeah. But of course, the buyer can choose whoever they would like. Anybody, anybody and want. occasionally, occasionally we do have, no, I wouldn't say occasionally, actually this last year, I would say, a good 25% of our buyers opted for somebody that, that was recommended to them by a family member, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. Um, and that's kind of, uh, for me, a little bit, one of the reasons I wanted to do this with you as well is to partly to promote um, your business, because I think you do a really excellent job for our customers. You're not the only one, but I do think you do a really excellent job and love the way your reports make it easier and make it better for our buyers because it seems like they have a stronger negotiating point when you have a very clear report with the evidence, with the logic, but also love the fact that as a home inspector, you're not a scaremonger. Because I will be honest, the one thing that I didn't like about the home inspector that I hired, which by the way, was recommended to me by a colleague um, at works, so I should have listened to my agent, 
um, who said, oh, really? When I, when I thought about it. Um, because when I went through, I will say, I was a single woman at that time when I bought my house. And I had told this home inspector that I had a background in house flipping because that's what my parents had done in home construction. So I knew a lot about houses. He didn't seem to listen to that. And he kind of treated me disrespectfully as a woman um, kind of said, made a lot of comments about, well, I don't think you'll be able to fix that. And I kind of didn't, that wasn't appreciated. appreciated. He had a lot of opinions on what I could do or couldn't do um, <laughs> financially and, and experientially. But then and he kept trying to talk me out of buying the house. Sure. And I kept telling him, well, I know this house needs a lot of work because this price is ridiculously cheap. Well, um, that ties in with what we talked about earlier, that everybody, um, everybody has a different comfort level. Um, and, and, and I'm not there to, uh, to figure out necessarily what your comfort level is. That, that's for you to determine. So to, for somebody to make that, that call, you should or shouldn't buy this house or try to sway them in one way or the other. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know everybody's story, nor do I claim to. So, um, you know, you just state the facts and, and let them make the decision. Um, one thing I wanted to add to this here is we're talking about inspectors um, and people certainly have their, their own ability to pick whomever they want for a home inspector. Um, and we kind of touched on it earlier, but I, I want to reiterate that the home inspector that the individual picks certainly needs to be uh, state licensed and uh, nationally certified. Uh, we get the phone call on occasion that, you know, so-and-so's cousin or whatever is a roof, is a roofer or is a, is a handyman of some sort, and they'd like them to do the inspection. Um, that, that doesn't really work. If, um, if we're not using a licensed home inspector and it comes down to a negotiation process, um, that whatever you may have written up from whoever uh, doesn't really hold any water at that point. Um, you no, that's an excellent. Back. That's an excellent point to make because um, in the in the offer to purchase, it actually says that it has to be a licensed home inspector. It doesn't allow right. you to use someone else. So if you use someone else, the seller could turn around and say, "Well, sorry, you didn't use a licensed home inspector. I don't have to pay any attention to whatever they put on paper because they're not licensed to do that job." So in, in addition to that, with the uh, shopping for an inspector, uh, we talked a little bit about the, the pricing and such there. Um, you know, be careful. Um, some people will go with the lowest, the lowest bidder and um, other people will call and say, well, why are you $50 more than the other guy? And I, I tend you to say, and I'm assuming you tell them because I'm worth every penny of it, right? <laughs> Right. And I, I tend to use the argument too, you probably wouldn't buy the lowest price house you looked at either. So, you know, there's some value um, and, you, and you have to really look at what comes along with the inspection um, and what the people are going to do. In addition to that, and we didn't touch on it here, but I want to bring this up because it's a very important point. Um, highly, highly recommended that the buyer is present for the home inspection. Oh, even more that. important for the buyer to be there than the agent. The agent doesn't even really have to be there, right. but the buyer should be there. In today's busy world with hectic work schedules and, and minimal amount of time off, I get this question quite often, you know, oh, I don't need to be there. Well, it, it's a three hour or thereabout uh, inspection, and it's really an education process for you to understand what you're buying, how to maintain it, and such going forward. So if at all possible, um, I would recommend that anybody buying a home is there for the inspection. Uh, we can certainly do it without you, but it makes it a little bit more challenging, especially when it comes to comprehending the report. If you were there right uh, beside me and I was able to show you uh, up close and personal what we were looking at, maybe in an electrical panel or whatever it might be, uh, you're going to have a better time uh, understanding what I'm saying in the report than if I just send you a report and you weren't there. So if you can be available for the inspection, uh, definitely be there. And especially if you're a first time home buyer, I, we just would, I, we would really not just encourage, we would really push that the buyer be there. Um, as agents, sure. we usually show up um, to, for the home inspection, partly because we're making the introduction a lot of times to the home inspector. Right. 
That's correct, and that's good. Um, it, as, long, as long as there's some representation, that's great. Um, some some uh, agents will be there for the whole inspection. Some will show up to let us in and make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, either or is, is completely fine. Um, I get a little skeptical. Well, and for us, I mean, I know for myself, there. For myself, I went to all the home inspections and stayed for the whole ins inspection for the for the first year that I was in real estate because I wanted to learn. So sure. I think for that perspective on our team and, and Russ did the same thing. Um, he did, you know, for the first year, year and a half of, of his time in real estate, he felt it was important for his own education to show up so that he knew what home inspectors were talking about. And I Most think probably them. any members we add to our team were going to require that as well. But really the relationship with a home inspector is between the buyer and the home inspector. Correct. That is, that is very true. So ultimately you're the one that's educating them. I do think um, sometimes, especially when an agent is there for the home inspection or there for the whole inspection, um, it's great at the beginning to kind of break the ice and, and get them comfortable with talking with the home inspector. But sometimes we can actually be a distraction because if we're sitting there and we're just chit chatting with a the buyer, they may not be paying attention to what you're saying to them. Correct, that can happen. That's certainly a valid, uh, valid point there. Yeah, and me, I'm full of chit chat, so that's <laughs> <laughs> What, you're not disagreeing with me, Marco? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not even out of politeness, okay. Um, so is there anything else that you'd like to add um, to this, you know, to, to what we've been talking about that you haven't already? I think we covered. Uh, I think we covered uh, the bulk of uh, what I think people need to know about the inspection process and uh, what goes along with it. And you know, if people uh, if people have any questions, I mean, I certainly would be uh, uh, willing to answer any if they'd like to reach out to me. Oh, absolutely. So, um, can you provide some of your information? And I'll also, when I do put these up, I will like tag you. Um, do you do most home inspectors have a website? I have a website. Okay. Um, and my website is curb appeal home inspections, um, dot com. Uh, so you can find information there uh, about our services. Um, you can reach me by phone at 262-939-3474. Uh, but I will say reaching a home inspector by phone is not, don't expect them to necessarily answer their phone because if they're in the middle of an inspection, that is, a, that is a good point. Um, you know, certainly um, if we are available, we'll, we'll take the phone call. Um, a lot of times we're working with a client and uh, we'll be happy to call you back when we're, when we're done. So if you get a voicemail, um, don't be discouraged and, and please leave a message. Um, we'll certainly will return your, your phone call. I know some people want it, uh, everything immediately. And uh, uh, when you're a sole proprietor, that doesn't, uh, doesn't quite work that way, and most of the inspectors are that. So, um, and also texting is a great way to get a hold of you as well because they can text. text you on that number, right? Texting will work. You can certainly text me at that number um, from the website. You can uh, you can email me on the website. Um, there's a link there to do that, um, and we're on Facebook, so you can certainly find us on Curb Appeal Home Inspections on Facebook too, and you can go through Messenger uh, if you'd like to do that also. All right. Well, thank you very much, Marco. I really appreciate you giving us this time today um, and just appreciate all the all the help you have been for our buyers over the years. Um, we did do actually um, another video as well about sellers. And I know that's something that you and I had talked about before about how important a pre-sale home inspection. Pre-sale inspection, sure. And that's something that you offer as well for sellers, correct? I, I do, I do, yes. And it's pretty much a similar cost to a buyer, correct? Correct, yeah, yeah. same right. cost. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Well, my pleasure to uh, to chat with you today, and uh, I hope uh, I hope your clients uh, find this of value. And like I said, if they have any questions, I'd be happy to uh, happy to discuss further with them. Well, any client that's open minded enough to work with me is going to be open minded enough to work with you. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. All I right. know. I know most of my clients like the whole education factor. That's why they come to us in the first place. So I know they'd really appreciate working with you as well. So. Um, I'm sure we'll be, I'm sure we'll be recommending and doing business together quite a bit in the future, um, as much as we have in the past. So All right. I look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All and right. Once again, this has uh, been Kimberly Adams Mann from the Adams Mann team here at Shore West Realtors and TAMTHomes.com. 
am here with Marco Celeste from Curb Appeal Home Inspections, and we will put uh, Marco's details up any on any portions of these. I do think I'm probably going to break this up into multiple um, recordings just because it's been so long, but really great informative information, um, bits of information there. But uh, we'll make sure we attach Marco's contact details as well so that you can reach him. Perfect. All right. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you.